today we want to set up the file transfer protocol or FTP service on our uh, Linux Ubuntu 10.10 Maverick Meerkat 64-bit AMD server. So in this case, uh, I first need to install the daemon, so I'm going to go sudo apt-get install and vsftpd for the very secure file transfer protocol daemon. And remember the file transfer protocol uses ports 20 and 21, and it's typically used by companies to you know, allow the uploading and downloading of files. So for instance, if I were a hardware manufacturer and I wanted to allow people to download the latest drivers, or if I were you know, working with vendors and I wanted to allow them to upload spreadsheets and things. And once I've installed the daemon or the service, the next thing I need to do is edit the configuration file. So I'm going to do Alt F2. And my favorite method of doing this, once I bring up the run window, is GK sudo and I like to use the genome text editor. Alternatively, um, you, know, you could use nano or you could use vi or vm from the command prompt, but I just think this is more convenient. So forward slash etc, and then like most files, it's in the etc folder. You know, most of your daemons have their config files there. And this particular file, rather than being in a subdirectory, is at the root level of that particular folder. So it's vsftpd.conf. That's the file I want to open. And there's just a few things I want to change in this configuration file. Um, first off, I'm going to allow anonymous access, and this is your call whether or not you choose to do so. Obviously, that might be a security risk. Um, now, what is anonymous access, you say? By enabling this and setting it to yes, um, a user will be able to log into your FTP server without authenticating. In other words, they can just type in the word anonymous and no password, and they can get in. Um, now, that could be potentially dangerous if you allow them to upload files or delete things or give them permission to you know, get outside of the FTP directory in the SRV folder. On the other hand, it could be a very useful feature if you, you want to make, you know, files uh, available to the masses, so to speak, or available to the public if you want to serve them out. Um, another, you know, another good, you know, useful feature of anonymous logins on the FTP server is if you couple that with Apache, then they can access it via HTTP. So even though FTP is on port 20 and 21, and HTTP is on port 80, and if you use SSL or Secure Seconds Layer, it's 443, they can go through a web page via Hypertext Transfer Protocol and access FTP that way um, without having to use a password. You know. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to enable anonymous access. I just need to be careful about the permissions I put on the folder inside of SRV FTP. And when, you in when we installed that, we'll go look at this in a minute, but when we installed the very secure file transfer protocol daemon, it created a folder in you know forward slash SRV forward slash FTP, and we just have to want to be careful about permissions in that folder if we enable this. Okay, so enough talk about caution. And the next thing I want to do is I want to uncomment this line so that users can upload files and make changes. And I'm not going to I'm not going to really enable that for anonymous users. But for authenticated users, yes, I want to enable that. And by default, the FTP daemon will allow any user who has a local logon, um, you know, on the network who could log into one of our Linux servers or Linux workstations. Um, they're also going to have, you know, be able to FTP into that server using their same, you know, user ID and password. And when they do, they'll automatically be taken to their home folder, you know, their desktop folder where they have all their files and, and things, and you know, they can upload and download things just as if they were sitting down at their desktop. So it's kind of you know, another useful feature of FTP. There's all kinds of useful features you know, and, and, and useful services that FTP can offer, but those are simply a few of them. Um, okay, the thing that we want to be cautious about if we're going to um, enable anonymous access is this one here. Anon upload enable equals yes. I want to leave that one commented out. And the reason is, again, if, if I'm going to allow unauthenticated access on users and anonymous access, um, I probably don't want to give them write access. Otherwise, they could just upload anything, worms, viruses, um, or, you know, contraband, something I might end up getting in trouble for, you know, who knows. Um, so it's, it's good, best to leave that sh turned off if you're going to enable anonymous access. But that's up to you. That's your call. And 
the last thing I want to change is the banner and you security people out there will probably say no don't do it because you know a lot of people a lot of exploits on um, you know penetration testers and hackers use banner grabbing and they can tell by the banner that something offers that you know what type of service is being offered on that server and then they can do port scans and ping sweeps uh, we're not going to worry about that we're, you know this is a low security situation we're just setting up FTP trying to kind of learn the ropes so to speak and so typically you would put a message here and this is what you'll see when you log into the FTP server so welcome to the FTP server on Pegasus um, have a super nice day all right that, that'll be our message now what would companies use this for well typically they'll put their company name and a message you know these files are available for download or this these services are offered and then usually some kind of a warning about you know unauthorized access will not be tolerated blah 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 um, you know, hence the default message welcome to blah FTP server all right so we're gonna save the configuration file and we're done with the config file Now remember, whenever you change a configuration file, you have to restart the daemon that uses it, so it will load the changes and apply them. So that's going to be sudo and restart and vsftp for the very secure file transfer protocol daemon, and we have restarted it. So now we're ready to test it out. Now, a word about the testing process. Um, well, actually, first, let's, why don't we go ahead and make some files so we can kind of see how to tweak permissions via anonymous access on this FTP server. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into SRV. And notice that there was a folder here that was created. And notice the permissions. You know, in order to manage it and administer it, root has full permission, but read-only permission is here on root and a service account, or, you know, a group that was created FTP. Now this is read-only access for the directory. Remember that you need to include the execute permission, or if you don't, you won't be able to enter or browse the directory. So the combination of read and execute is actually still read-only when we're talking about directories. Um, but let's go into the FTP folder, and I'm going to make some files here. So I'll need to escalate privileges, sudo, and I'm going to use the touch command. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And so I have these nine files, and notice that because I escalated privileges of sudo, root is the owner and root is the group. And look at the permissions here, another. And so I'm going to make it as if these files were created by other people. And so I'm going to do um, sudo ch own. I'm going to change ownership of the files, say, one through six. Um, and I'm gonna make the owner I'm gonna make the owner of the world. Seven seven seven. Everybody. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So definitely not secure, definitely not anything we're trying to hide or prevent people from viewing or downloading or so forth. Um, and let's say I'm gonna do the same thing with the group. So and I'll just use the command ch group. And so now you can see the group membership and the user have changed there. I'll keep these as root. I'm going to use the chmod command, sudo chmod, and I'm going to retain uh, read and write privileges for root, and I'm going to, you know, as far as the group, I'm going to deny any privileges. Well, actually, I'll go ahead and keep, you know, read privileges there, and then I want to remove any privileges for other people who are not part of that group, and I'm going to do that for seven, eight, and nine. So I'll chmod those permissions. And so now this is, you know, the end effect, this is what it looks like. So these have been removed. And I just tweaked this a little so we can see the differences in security even in anonymous FTP access.